Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the intersection of two arrays problem. Given two arrays, write a function to compute their intersection. Example 1. The input is two arrays, nums1 and nums2. So the intersection is just two. As you know, the intersection is just the elements that are common to both. So two is here, and two is here, so the intersection is two. Example 2, nums1 equals this array with 495, and nums2 equals this array with 94984. So the output is the intersection, the elements that are common. So as you can see, 9 is in both nums1 and nums2, and 4 is also in both nums1 and nums2. So we have 9 and 4 as the output. And notice that we so we return this as a set so it's actually an array but because the intersection only cares about one instance that's what we return only one instance for instance 9 appears here twice and here only one time we only put it one time here and 4 appears twice here and one time here and we put it one time here so this is the intersection so one way that we can solve this problem is using big O of m plus n time, where m is the length of nums1 and n is the length of nums2. And that way that is using two sets. So we can put all the, all the elements of nums1 into a set, s, and then we can iterate through all the elements in nums2, and we can check in constant time if any element in nums2 is in the set. If that's the case, we put that element in a set. And then we convert the set to an array and we return the array. So the space complexity is also big O of m plus n. The time complexity, big O of m plus m. Big O of m plus n. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need a set of integer. I'm going to call it S. I also need another set of integer. I'm going, I'm going to call this one result. Then, as I said, I want to put all the elements of nums1 into S. So, for integer num in nums1 is the add num. So now all the elements of nums1 will be in S. Then I want to iterate through nums2. So for integer num in nums2 if S that contains num I just put it in the result set. Result that add num. So as you can see, checking if the set contains num takes big off one time or constant time. So that's why this is efficient. And then I have to put that element into the result set. Because I don't want to have duplicates in the final result. Then, I want to return this as an array, so I will have an array of integer. The output gets a value of new array of integer, and the size of this array is going to be the result that size. And then integer i gets a value of zero. And for every number in the result set, I just want to say output sub i gets the value of that number and increment i using the post increment operator. And then I just return the output. So I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. 
2 milliseconds faster than 98.31% of Java online submissions. So the time complexity is big of n plus n, the space complexity is big of n plus n. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.